Alright, so for the fixed fuel kit, nothing too bad again. It's just gonna be uh, the hardest part is probably installing this module right here. So these are the fuel lines. Uh, some, a lot of people actually put that just here in the brake uh, or the ABS lines, I believe. What these are, and people just kind of zip tie them on there. But the main point is, as far as the lines go, this line here would go to this here. So as you guys can see, there's one, two, three. It's gonna be this one right over here. So you don't really touch those two. And once this goes into that line here, this line would then go in to right over here. So to get that uh, fuel uh, line out, you are gonna need a special tool. I did get this right here. Uh, you guys can use any kind of tool, but I just got this because it was in Rally Sports Direct. You might as well order it there so everything comes in at the same time. So not too bad, I'm gonna go ahead and take off that line and show you guys how to do that. Alright you guys, so do make sure that you guys do get a fuel disconnect tool here. It makes everything a lot simpler because all you gotta do is uh, put this thing on there and once, once it's in, inside that uh, little um, groove in there, all the way in, you can just go ahead and pull out your line like so. And that'll be it. So make sure you do catch it with some kind of paper towels or towel of any kind. I've already done mine, that's why I didn't squirt out. But if you don't, the fuel is just going to get everywhere. Yeah, that is it for that fuel disconnect line. I'm going to go ahead and connect that to the um, flex fuel module there. Alright, so again, your flex fuel kit will sit on here. And you could simply connect this line over to what you unplugged. And make sure it does have this locking mechanism here. So we'll just do this like so Come on there. And then you can go ahead and take the other line that you disconnected and plug it in right over here. You just have it. And I'm gonna go ahead and mount that there with some zip ties and secure it. Alright, so once everything is in place, you got all the zip ties you need in the world. One, two, three here. And I also zip line this thing right here so it doesn't move around too much. But you do want it to be flexible because you don't want anything breaking when a sudden jerk or movement does happen. But other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car um, without it being connected just to make sure that everything is uh, leak free. So I'm gonna go ahead and check for fuel leaks. All right, so here we go. Hopefully nothing leaks out over there or squirts out, but all right. All right, so out here in the engine bay, it doesn't seem to be leaking anywhere. So that's always a plus. So again, on to the next step. All right, so one of the cons of um, buying things online is sometimes you just find things that are unexpected. I mean, in this case, the kit works out well. Um, as you guys can see here, I did a little mock-up, connected it, and it does show that I'm running E9, which is a uh, regular for petrol. But the only thing is that this wire here is a little short. So looking at the install videos and other YouTube channels, this thing should be able to come in through the firewall inside your car but in this case it's kind of short so I'm not sure um, where I'm gonna be putting this for now now granted I can always extend this wire later on but for now I have to put a safe spot on it just so that it doesn't get wet because knowing that it's gonna be the engine bay this thing does not look like it's waterproof of any type so in that case I'll probably just set it here for now or maybe under here I don't know yet so that's one thing to watch out for. Alright, so I do take that back. I did actually go to the Facebook page, um, Enthusiast for FRS, FRS, BRZ, GT86. And I'm guessing in some of the models, this is actually normal for it to be this short. Now, granted that uh, it does stay in the engine bay like this, I do still want to lengthen the wire and put it inside just, in, just because, as you guys can see, this engine bay is kind of filthy. So doing so would make it a little bit more waterproof. But if I do ever decide to wash it and keep it this way, I'd probably just put a plastic bag there and make sure that no water actually gets in there. But uh, as far as wiring it up, it's uh, pretty simple. It goes to here, zip tight to there, 
the um, the O2 sensor actually goes through here. I wired it down here, there, because it is a little long, so I wanted to run it uh, for uh, farther from where it's supposed to be. Uh, through there and back there, all the way over here and there, and finally back there. Now, one of the thing is the O2 sensor here is actually gonna come off, and you can just set that wherever. I actually set it right over here, hidden, just to make it a little bit cleaner. But you can always, you guys can always wire this as clean as you guys want, or as unique as you want it to be. And as far as the gauge, the gauge is wired on here now, all the way right here, and inside the firewall. I'm not sure if I can get a good look at that. I'm gonna get my flashlight here real quick. So, the firewall is going to be right over there, let me focus on that, right there, so you do squeeze it in that way, so one of the uh, tips that I would do is to actually go from the inside and out, I'll show you guys that right now. Alright, so one tip on getting that there is to get the end of your gauge and actually put it through there like so you guys can see right over there it does take a lot of force because that thing is kind of what makes the car water resistant or susceptible for water to get in so just stick it in there once you have that the little connector should be sticking out from here now the reason why I did that is because I don't want to take off my catch can and actually have my I can't really fit my hand in there so that one that one's a little bit better I was able to pull it through, run it down here, and I should be good to go. And again, as far as attaching the gauge, not too, too bad. I have it right here, so you guys can see I have the wire running through down here and over there. And the only thing that uh, attaches this from here to here is Velcro. So something simple like that. I put it here because it's probably the flattest I can get it. Over here. It's a little curved, but once it's here. You gotta just put this on like so, and it's gonna look like that. So not too bad. You can still see it. But if you guys do have a little bit of um, other ideas on where to put this, you know, I got a lot of comment down below, and I thought they take it. But for now, that's what some that's what seems to work out for me. So pretty simple, right over there. The only complaint that I have on onto this is whenever I do have my doors closed window up and at night time there is a glare with E85 number right over here that kind of obstructs my side view mirror so that's something to keep in mind if you don't like seeing that but it does get kind of annoying now maybe if I could 3d print something maybe I could put a flatter surface here or maybe down over here but either way, uh, it's a way to test you guys' creativity and where to put this. But other than that, over here seems to be fine. So I'll, I'll keep it there for now.